Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to PACE IT session on maintenance procedure best practices. Today we're going to be talking about what best practices are, and then some maintenance procedure best practices. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So what are best practices? Best practices are a technique or methodology that consistently result in superior results over another technique or methodology. Now, best practices can be standardized across an industry, a single company, or just to an individual. Now, best practices can be determined by policy, company policy. They can be determined by the complexity of the system, or by usage patterns, network constraints, or access to other resources. All of those can have an effect on your best practices. Now let's move on to some maintenance procedure best practices. Backups should be scheduled and verified for integrity. A policy should be in place for how long backups are kept and what kind of backups are maintained. Check disk. As hard disks age, problems can occur with the integrity of the physical surface. Regularly scheduled check disk scans can find and sometimes repair these problems before they become an issue to the user. You should run regularly scheduled check disk scans. Defragmentation. Uh, this can reduce the seek times and improve overall system performance. You should schedule defragmentation for spinning disk hard drives on a regular basis to ensure optimum performance. Windows Update. You should use Microsoft's Window Update to keep the system running well. An update to an operating system can reduce the opportunity for exploitation. And you do have the option for when Windows updates occur and how they occur. You should develop a policy for how you're going to handle them. Best practices for driver or firmware updates are unless you need the added functionality that they can impart or unless you, there is a problem with a driver or firmware, I wouldn't do them. That should be your best practice. Best practices as far as antivirus is that it should be always up to date. New threats are being developed on a regular basis and therefore, for antivirus to be effective, it needs to be up to date constantly. Now let's talk about maintenance procedure best practices for patches. A patch is an update to an operating system or application. Patches are used to fix problems or reduce security threats. You should have patch management best practices in place. And part of your patch management best practices should be that all systems and applications are as up to date as possible. Now, patches can fix problems, but they can also create problems. So whenever possible, test a patch before deploying it in a production setting. And before you deploy a patch, you should make a backup of the system in case of problems. And once the patch has been deployed, thoroughly and systematically test the machine before you call it done. Now that concludes this session on preventative maintenance best practices. We discussed what best practices are and then we briefly discussed some maintenance procedure best practices. Now on behalf of PACE IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure we will do some more.